Would you please tell us your name? Uh, Judith Hawk Lastly. Okay. And when did you attend Susquehanna? Uh, I started in 1962 and graduated in 1966. Mm -hmm. And what have you brought for us today? I have brought you um, two letters, mm -hmm. actually now it's three, um, that were given to me um, in October of 1965 mm -hmm. after a football game <laughs> <laughs> that has a story behind it. Oh, okay. Okay. So you want me just to describe those? Okay. Um, I was the cheerleader, mm -hmm. um, the captain of the cheerleaders in that year, mm -hmm. and um, we were having a very poor football season. Mm -hmm. uh, we had not won a game. I think well, they had played six games. This was the seventh game, mm -hmm. um, and it was Parents' Day. We played Lycoming College, and um, we were still losing. I think it was zero was our score, and they were they had a large score. Um, and I think it was about the third quarter of the game. Um, the coach w was getting very frustrated at the time. A player came off of the field after a very bad play, and the coach, at the time, took a swing, big powerhouse swing, and hit the player. And uh, the players parents were in the stands and immediately came down to the field. Uh, met, everybody saw it. Mm -hmm. It's a small stadium. Everybody saw what was going on. There were people were getting very upset, booing. Parents were wanted to come down and get on the field and everything. And um, I happened to be able to calm the crowd down for some reason. Mm -hmm. I said, don't fight your battles here. Wait until after the game. Go through the channels. You know, give your support to the team. Don't boo, whatever. And it worked. For some reason, it just worked. Um, so afterwards, uh, Dr. Armstrong, uh, Dr. Thomas Ar Armstrong, um, was a kind of a sponsor of the cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. He always bought us the pom-poms, the chrysanthemums for each game, and would have a banquet for us at the end of the year and everything. And so he sent me a letter. Um, shall I read it, or do you want to just... Yeah, sure. Okay. And it's dated uh, 1 November 1965. Dear Judy, I was very proud of my cheerleader captain on Saturday afternoon. It showed fast thinking to tell the booers in the crowd to fight their battles later and to support the team on the field. I'm sure that it helped to ease the tension of the moment caused by the unfortunate incident that took place. It showed that you were on the ball, and I am certain that others in the stands feel, as I do, very proud of how a very fine young woman helped to ease a bad situation that could have flared up further. So, thank you, Judy Hawk. Sincerely, Thomas Armstrong. So, that could was great. Can you hold that up? So we I could. Can see it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And while I was searching for this uh, letter, um, I got the email from the librarian, and, and uh, I said, I'll see if I can find the letter, because he said he was interested in seeing it. I found another letter that I didn't remember that I had. And this one was from um, Dr. Weber, who was the president of the university at the time. Um, and as you know, after the game, um, I believe that relatives of the student who was hit during the game uh, wanted to bring assault charges against the coach. And I believe negotiations took place. Um, co the coach decided to retire. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Weber, the president of the university, and Mr. Wissinger uh, took over as coaching of the team. So it had a great effect on the enthusiasm of the students, you know, because here was the president of the university coaching the team. So we were going to have a, a pep rally before the game, and I had invited Dr. Weber to address the crowd. And he says, on November 1st, 1965, Dear Judy, I am terribly sorry that I will not be able to be present at the pep rally on Friday evening since some weeks before the incident which elevated me to the exalted post of coach, I had agreed to attend my area alumni dinner for my alma mater, Wagner College. I would suggest that a very capable person to speak to the students and the team would be Mr. Wissinger, who has been assisting and directing the team. I know he will be able to give us a fine bit of inspiration, and I hope that the boys on Saturday will do themselves proud. 
Please extend my regrets to your fine cheerleading staff who have done an outstanding job this year. And I trust the rally will be the best we have ever had. Cordially yours, uh, Gustav Weather, Weber, President. And that's uh, his letter. Wow. And then I'm just going to also give you a little note that um, after I graduated in uh, 1966, I received this tiny little note from uh, Dr. Armstrong, still typing his notes as he always did, mm -hmm. uh, dated um, 31 August 1975. Dear Judy, I am, sorry, I'm breaking up my, I, sorry, I should have put my glasses on. I'm breaking up my collection and thought you would like to have this evidence of your captaincy at SU. Hope you're well and something. <laughs> Just a little note. And then he sent me a little um, oh. slide of my days as a cheerleader. So I'm giving those to you as well. So, so that's a story. Wow. I'm curious about your, your pin that you're wearing. This? Yes. <laughs> so another thing I found <laughs> when I was going through my box of Miranda. So. Actually, you could have this one as well. <laughs> this was freshman year, mm -hmm. and I, you've probably gotten the beanies, the, the uh, maroon beanies that we had to wear as freshmen. I yeah, think one of, my, today, one of my classmates yeah. told me that she brought one, so um, I ha used to have one, couldn't find it. But, so we had to wear it to identify yeah, that we were yeah, freshmen. Yeah. It was very embarrassing, actually. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Did you care? No, absolutely not. Yeah, Try it was kind of, kind of humiliating, yeah. but uh, yeah, we got through it. <laughs> So did you all have pins as well? A pins? Well, this this was just I don't remember. We all got those. Yeah. The, the orientation, yeah. freshman orientation, yeah. the beanie and the, and the uh, yeah. I don't I don't know if we had to wear these as well. I don't think so. No. But it was something we had to wear during freshman orientation. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how did you hear about the history harvest? Um, through uh, it was an email. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have? Um, other stories that you'd like to tell us? <laughs> oh, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time today, though, We uh, taking a tour of the campus. We mm -hmm. had great um, tour leaders, mm -hmm. and very nice. The campus has grown and changed so much, of course, That's in 50 years. Yes, right. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. you've probably yeah. been hearing a lot of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, yeah, so what good. did you study while you were here? Um, I was an English major. Okay. But when I got out of, uh, after I graduated, um, uh, at that time, women didn't have a whole lot of opportunities uh, for work. Usually you were a nurse or a teacher, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to be either. So I took the liberal arts um, program, which was wonderful. I'm mm -hmm. so happy that I had that background. It was, it's just been wonderful. But I did go back to night school for seven years to get um, enough credits to sit for the CPA exam and, and became a CPA and accountant. Oh, so wow. my career really was as an accountant after I, after I left. Were you in any other activities besides cheerleading, or was that your main thing? Uh, it was my main thing. Uh, there were other activities. Uh, my husband and I were looking at the yearbook, and he said, intramurals. Wow, you were intramurals for four years. What did you do? I said, well, <laughs> hmm, I don't remember. <laughs> I think we had, you know, it was softball and volleyball, probably, is what I did at that time. Yeah. Were you in a sorority? Yes. I was at Kappa Delta. Do you have any fun memories of that? Oh, lots, yeah. lots. Um, it was wonderful learning to uh, know a group of women very well, mm -hmm. you know, maintain friendships. Uh, we learned a lot at that time about um, uh, etiquette, mm -hmm. um, giving our time to other people. We had a lot of charity work that we really enjoyed. A lot of uh, camaraderie in the uh, sing-along competitions that we had every year. They were really fun. Uh, we, and we did other things uh, as a sorority that were really fun. Carol, can you add anything? Um, I guess just the, you know, uh, the camaraderie was, was probably the, the most yeah. uh, significant for me, yeah. just being with the same group of people mm -hmm. and, and having that opportunity to exchange ideas and, and sadness and yeah. You know, it's, uh, and we were all physically located in Smith, you know, so we all went in and out of each other's rooms all the time. Right. So. Uh, unlike today, I think everybody's kind of right. scattered that mm -hmm. we were all in one place. Right. Yeah. Oh, that was a rare yeah. thing. I think that really pulled a, 
yeah. know, pulled us together. And we had a lot of restrictions on women at the time and curfews. So, you know, we were in the dorms a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could, uh, uh, during the week, we had a 10 o'clock curfew, mm -hmm. if you can believe that. Uh, I think you could uh, be out to 11 if you went to the library. So right. a lot of people went to the library. A lot of people went to the Great mm -hmm. university, and we're, we're, we're really proud. happy to see the improvements yes. and yes. everything that's happening here. It looks yeah. wonderful, and mm -hmm. I hope you have a good experience. Yeah, that's great.